My name is Toby Francis. I'm the front of house sound engineer for the Red Hot Chili Peppers Unlimited Love Tour. I became a, a sound engineer um, when I was a teenager. I, I started working for local bands in the area I grew up in. Um, one of the bands had a very sophisticated PA system for that time, and I was lucky enough to get the mix on it. My first tour was with a band called The Crystal. That took me around the United States. Uh, I saw different size venues, different places, and uh, I did that for two years and then relocated to the Boston area uh, and fairly quickly started working with uh, Joe Perry, the guitar player from Aerosmith who had a solo band at the time. I did that for two years and then he went back to Aerosmith and I went with him. This show had some unique requirements. The band does not like to hear or feel the PA on stage. So we ended up using a DMB GSL PA that has cardioid elements that cancels the sound behind the, the PA and they wanted as much of the show to be analog as possible. This record was on analog and tape. <laughs> you don't get any more analog than that. They have people sit in a lot. They'll add a horn section on a whim. We, we had to be able to accommodate other things, so we, we ended up with the Midas as a sidecar to the analog setup to give me extra channels extra uh, capabilities, and some uh, backups. One of the concerns was the, the drums. Uh, the drums do have a digital element. We are adding plugins to enhance certain, certain characteristics. If a server fails, I lose the drums completely. With the, the Midas console, I have the ability to, uh, I have a backup drum section basically I can pull from the, the Midas or the same with the guitars or the bass or the entire mix. The Midas was good for us for, for the size. It, physically it, it, it's small. There's enough onboard features. I didn't have to add servers or any other outboard gear to this where I typically do use outboard gear when I use uh, digital consoles. We put Dante cards in to, to take the Dante stream from the stage. We split it so it goes into a multi-track rig, it goes into the, the Midas and the sound. The HD96 is very punchy. Like when we switch to the drums from the HD96 versus the analog drums, there's a difference but not as much difference as, as we had anticipated. I think sonically, the HD96 compares to things that cost three times as much. So I think the price point is one of its best features and the sound you get and the feature set that you get at that price. The biggest difference I notice when you go from digital to, to analog is the, the quickness of the transients. The dynamic range seems more realistic. I added a lot of parametric EQs. In a digital console, you have EQ on your inputs, EQ on your outputs, your subgroups. You have digital EQ and dynamics everywhere. In the analog world, you don't. We play in, in stadiums that for the most part don't sound very really good. So it's it's a difficult tour. A tour like this is very difficult. If I have a good show, it's a great feeling. If you have a bad show, it's a horrible feeling. You know, I, I feel responsible. If anyone leaves unsatisfied, it, it I take it personally. We've had a lot of positives uh, from friends of the band. Uh, this, this band's very social. They have lots of musician friends and uh, they've been very vocal about liking what they're hearing. <laughs>